YouTube family. Hold up and stop the pressures. Apparently, there's a rapper out here going crazy for the cause. I mean, this is different, y'all. I've never seen a level of disrespect at an all-time high gang. And the legendary errors of this videos of the Julio, Julio's, Youngin' Ace. You know what I'm saying? There's a new prospect out here, and he goes by the name Kobe Sosa. He's from Savannah, Georgia. Uh, let's pay these bills, and I'll tell you what just happened. Go check out Kid Outlaw's new hit, Run It Up. Street rapper out of Florida making waves. Man, salute to the gang. There's a rapper out here from Savannah, Georgia by the name of Kobe Sosa. Now, this rapper got a lot of situations going on out here. And I'm not going to lie. Like, besides his music, his music is fire. But this ain't why I'm doing it. We're going to talk about his music. But right now, I wanted to get into something, y'all. A video I seen that got sent to me that was just like, what? What is this, folks? Now, what you guys are going to watch right here, it's a video of Kobe Sosa apparently sitting, you know what I'm saying, on top of his ops father. Like, I, I'm not, uh, this is all allegedly, you know what I mean? You know, we don't do the police business as educational purpose over here, but he's sitting on his ops father over here. And I'm going to fall back and let you guys see what's going on. Jesus Christ, let's watch that one more time. The disrespect, they taking it at a different level, gang. The level they taking these disrespect, bro, let's just say and admit the young generation is clearly ready for anything and their minds is more sinister and heinous than like any of us was when we jumped out the porch. It's not at what age they jumped out the porch, it's at what they're willing to do. This new generation, I mean, this is the guy who had a brand new single, belong, We Belong Together remix and the ways and the droves of the new diss people are doing out here. He dissed one of his homies, allegedly by the name of Malik, and he did a We Belong Together snippet. Let me play some of it without getting a copyright. Like the disrespect in these situations that we see today ladies and gentlemen i don't know i think i want to hear the lyrics of what he says and we belong together so let's listen to a slowed down version of we belong together to see as far as what the lyrics and what he was saying about his oppositions on that track Jeez. 
Sheesh, man. Like the level of degrees these guys are dissing each other. Now, now this rapper, to be honest with you guys, he actually could rap. I know a lot of people say these diss rappers only can make one wave, but he got a stream of projects that we're going to get into. But let's listen to some of the styles of Kobe Sosa. I'm going to start paying attention to more of them because he also has a song years ago he did with no cap. But let's get into that. Baby mama. Okay. Y'all niggas stop calling. Y'all bitch collect all of my neck because she giving me. Wow. Go. Oh, you want smoke? Cause you want to choke. On the go. Wow. Um, okay. I just got the drop from my uh, baby I mama. I know how y'all niggas rock. Cut my uh, baby mama. Say he never heard of me on God, that nigga Cappy. I'm the reason you gotta change the fucking sheets on your mattress. I'm the reason why she changed the fucking locks on the dope. I'm the reason you couldn't get back in when you went to the stove. Hey, her car lost his domino. You know she on EP, so she told me what y'all trapping that go come through like the screen sweeper. Uh, baby mama, I just made a flip with my uh, baby mama. Freak. I just got the drop from my uh, baby mama. Uh. I know how y'all niggas rock, come my uh, baby mama. Uh. I just hit a lick with my uh, baby mom. I mean, this guy clearly is talented. He doesn't have to just keep making beef songs and what people like to say. The disses is lit, though. But people got to know, like, this dude being a Savannah, Georgia rapper, and if I got it wrong, I hope his people let me know. Now, he brags about viral alleged hits and shootings towards competitions that put them in a wheelchair. And this song is not titled We Belong Together. They just put it that way, but he says in it, like, you miss your knees Sheesh man Like this is the new Young and Ace Fulio Beef drama And I'm not gonna say They look up the Fulio Young and Ace I ain't gonna do that Corny thing at all gang I'm just saying I'm showing you This generation mindset Is more Gravitating towards A deeper rooted thing But like now It ain't just Catch you at the park Lacking Catch you at a house party Or hit up you During you know Such and such Now it's like I gotta go to The extremes level It ain't just Put a op in a body bro. It's just now We gotta go viral And you gotta remember Before I get to his music he had people like Media Takeout talking about him for days. Media Takeout was saying a whole lot. They, were, they had a whole title, Rapper Brags, about viral hit shooting. I'm going to say allegedly, you know, Media Takeout seemed like they're some agents, educational purpose, but it's a lot going on with that than just one thing. You got to remember what else they were saying out here. They said that this dude basically, you know, was on Demon Drill. He did songs like that. He was talking about a dude hitting a dude with the Draco allegedly put him in a wheelchair. The alleged victim, Malik. You know, no, I don't pick no size. I ain't going to get into all that. But, you know, they, they go deep into that, which I'm not going to read more. It sounds like some police activities we hearing from them. But, you know, this, this rapper that you see on your screen is a talented rapper. Besides the beef things we got into, let's give some homage to this young man's music career like he has a lot of hits man he got black ops too, black ops exclusives he also did songs with you know rock out which was featuring him on it um he had a whole project for his mom that was called free my mama project and he had hits on that projects such as unfwittable i can't curse y'all because of the youtube guidelines but this is how it sounds can't play the whole thing for copyright, but he had songs on that Free My Mama project, such as 1998. He had a whole lot of songs over the years. He has a whole co collection, you know, compilations of songs, and it's diversity. I'm not gonna lie, like. With, with the one in particular is the one I was looking at that was the Fortnite one. Oh God. Nah, these real tools, real. no cheat codes can't heal you. Like Tato, we'll kill you. People. Nigga might be staying this Fortnite. Fuck. Nah, these real pipes. Nigga might be staying this Fortnite. Dummy. We'll be on your block like a pole light. I mean, these rappers, if they stay exclusively to their sound, such as when he did, you know, Black Ops and songs like Chop, Wop, Wop, basically the cleanup, man. But you know what I'm saying? He 
he got hits, y'all. And the focus on them shouldn't just be about what they did to their rivals, quote-unquote rivals, that is. But I will be the first to say I'm impressed by the lyricism, um, the, the aggression. I mean, let's just be honest, man. Street rappers do sell more than regular rappers. It's not that people want to see the violence. It's just something that's more authentic when you feel real. I mean, shout-out to them folks in Georgia. We don't pick sides over here, man. Shout-out to the career of Coach. Kobe Sosa, we hope he reaches that top that he's destined to be. I'm your God Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute.